Good day, traders, divergence traders. Sorry to be a little late, but as you can see on the screen, I was in a trade, <clears throat> a longer term trade, three hours almost, and I made one hundred and thirty five points or ticks. So it took a while, so. As I said the other day, I don't use stops, but I do recommend them. <coughs> oh, boy. All of a sudden, I started getting that tickle in the throat and started choking like, like my throat was drying out. To me, that might be a, a cold, you know, the bug, some kind of cold bug. <coughs> So I just gargled my throat with warm salt water. Oh, shit. Anyway, so that was a good trade. I knew they were going to come back and reach down here. This is the low of Monday. <coughs> I had a line right here also for the low of yesterday. But they smoked right through it on the open of the stock market today. Anyway, <clears throat> look at all that nice profit I could have taken, eh? But I had enough. To be honest with you, I had enough way up here. <laughs> and here. And then it would come down and, and almost hit the freaking white line and then go back up. And then almost hit it again and go back up. Oh, they, Al loves to drive us man, mad. Al the Al go. I call him Al now. Big Al. Big Al is the one who sets the prices where it goes. Yes, indeed, Mr. Al. Mr. Al. Okay. Let's take a look at the setups now on the five minute. I have a feeling this is going to go way up. There it goes. It's going to go way down hundreds today. I just, I just, I can't hold on that long. My patience wear on me. Okay, we're going to change to the demo account now where I have all the charts. I always show all the charts to you on the demo. That there that you see now is my live account. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. Believe it or not, and sorry to go into all these little stories, but I'm sure I always try and give value or, you know, good good suggestions, whatever. I'm, I'm a person who loves to <coughs> help people. Holy fuck. I'm definitely, something's got me. I got to go gargle my throat again in about 20 minutes. Anyway, what I'm about to say is back in 2000, I think it was 2008, wasn't seven, or it could have been beginning of 2009. Not sure. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, do you remember <coughs> the virus they called H1N1? Yeah, that sucker. My brother caught it. Uh, you know, me and him were both with living with my mom at the time, and he got so sick. He was in bed for a month, man. That's how sick he got, but he, he got past it. And during that month, you know when you get the scratchiness in your throat? Three motherfucking times, man. Three times H1N1 was trying to get me. And I kept fighting it with warm salt water. You gargle your throat with warm salt water and it kills the virus. Do you think the pharmaceutical companies will tell you that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> What's really funny is they they said something on the news lately that they're saying that, oh, some of these drugs they sell in the store for colds, for sniffles, for this, for that, they said, oh, some of them don't really work or do anything. <laughs> they admit it to their own crime. Can you fucking believe it? I'm telling you, next time, if you get sick while you're sleeping and you're not aware, like you're not awake, 
if if three to six hours goes by, it's too late. You've got it, and you're 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 gonna be sick. Okay, but still, if you catch it a little late, as gross as it is, gargle your throat with warm salt water. Do it at least when you're sick at, at the beginning. Do it at least three times that day. Then do it like twice a day after that, and it'll help to kill it before it gets real bad. But if you are awake and you start to feel the scratchiness in your throat, right away, warm salt water. <clears throat> I know it's gross. I, I, You know, you gargle, then you spit it out, right? Gargle, spit it out. Yeah, that's what I just did. I know, we're going to get on with the trading bit here. I just wanted to share that information with you. You can listen to me. You don't have to listen to me. It killed, for me, it killed H1N1 three times. I killed it. <coughs> oh, shit. And over the years, many, many times, it I killed at least 50 of them during my life. Maybe more. And I stopped them before they, you know, the ones where I was awake and I started feeling the scratchiness. I just do the warm salt water, take something for a fever, you know, like, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything about that. And then just, you know, go to sleep. Next day you'll wake up. All gone. All gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. So anyway, uh, that's from Dr. Jason. No, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but I, I strongly believe in, what do they call them, people? Homopath? Not homopath. <laughs> Something path, I don't know. You know, they have natural herbs and stuff, remedies, yeah. Oh, look at all the, oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, look, look. I could have made another 50 points. <coughs> but it went to the to the low of uh, of oh 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 an hour hourly here it is Monday this is Monday Tuesday today's Wednesday see all those people who were buying all the way up here and in here. And in here, in this big spike up, see? Whoever whoever was short from up here, okay? What did they do? Where, where was their stop? It was right up here. And they came and got your stops. Yeah. Right. And people who shorten in here, they had their stop right here. They came up. <coughs> they got your stop. That's what it is. Hunt stop. Stop hunt. One big motherfucking stop hunt. That's what it is if you try and trade, you know. But anyway, I just want to show you real quickly. We have a high, a retracement, and a higher high. Right up to the top, see? And we have this right here. Okay? And you would have got short right there exactly after all the stops were taken out you would have got short and look down it goes how many points would that have been 332 points today you would have got if you would have shorted it right there from that divergence on the one hour time frame okay it's time to go back to the five here we go Oh, I'm starting to feel better now. The salt is working. Okay. So, did we have divergence up here? Yes, we did. We definitely did. Right there. <coughs> oh, it keeps coming back. I keep taking little sips of water to calm it down. Crazy shit. Stop was 32 points. Went down 150. Was there a trade here? Yeah, there was. There was. Right there. 
right there and right there. You would have got long right there on the opening of that bullish that turned into a bullish candle right there. You would have got in right on the opening. You would have bought it. I don't know if we hit the target. Our stop was exactly 40 points. Oh my God, we got the 40 points. We got 45. Woo! Fucking A. Sorry for swearing today. I've just been in that trade for three friggin' hours. I'm a little wound up. Sorry about that. There's one more here. We got a hidden divergence trade, a hard to see one right there. We would have got short. This is the five minute time frame, ladies and gentlemen, right here. You had two entries. You have an entry where you get in after the first candle that smacks down and closes below the two moving averages. You would have got short at the at the close of that candle. That is the more aggressive re entry. And, I'll, and let me hold on, hold on. Let me let me make this bigger. Hold on, hold on. Let me teach you this here. Okay, this here is a higher risk trade. Why? Because you're getting in farther away from the stop. The stop would be 65 points, okay? The second entry you can do, if it happens, it happens a lot. Every time they <clears throat> make a new big candle down or up, they have a retracement, see? So right here, you could have gone in at a better price right here on the close, okay? And now your stop is 45, 47. So you reduced it. <coughs> by about 15 points, okay? So if we got in there, oh, that's still going. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so if we would have got short right there with our 47 point stop, it went down 175 points, ladies and gents. Check it out. Every day, over and over, I show you the trades. I show you the winners and the losers. Now, let me see here. Hold on. Is there some other trade in here? No. <coughs> the only two trades today was, no, three trades. A sell from up here, a buy here. And you hit the target and then a sell here with a big move down. Okay, let's move on. S&P, here we go. Um, yeah, there's divergent. There's divergent, ladies and gentlemen. Right there to right there. High and higher highs. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Just singing one of my native songs there. I come from up north in northern Canada. And there's a lot of natives up there. They're the nicest people you could ever meet. If they thought you needed it more than them, they would give you their shirt off their back to you. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I could go step into some crap here, but I won't do that. They might kick me off the channel. All I can say is all the native land all over North America. That means the United States and Canada first belong to the natives. Yeah, that's right. Okay, would have got short here. Stop would have been six points. This is the yeah, this is the S. This is the S and the P. Right down here, 32 points. Now, let's look some more here. Um, look at all those wicks, eh? Look at how it danced off of, off the 40, off of 42. If that's the right price, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's divergent. I guess it is. You can see the <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven X bottom. <laughs> bottom. Oh, jeez Louise. Right here, up we go. All right, in we were right there. The stop would have been about eight points. 
Went up 17 points. There's your two to one win loss ratio. And do we have another trade up here? Do you see it? Do you see it? Al played the same movement over here too. The same algorithm over here too. Okay. Okay. We got a high and a higher high. <coughs> and right there. Yeah, I want to apologize again for being late, but like I showed you, I was in the trade. So some days I'm not going to be sending it around 11, 11.30. It could be later. Something really happens drastic. It might be at 8 o'clock that night or even the next day, whatever it is. But I try and send them out every day. We're almost at 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. So we would have got short right there. Your stop would have been right there, 9 and a half points went down 35 points down to the bottom gotta love that hey eh? look at how clean and nice that is hey eh? that's a picasso <laughs> that's a picasso or it's beautiful like a beautiful woman it's nothing like beautiful women they're awesome Okay, um, that's it for the S and the P. Let's move on to the Dow. Oh, Dow extended farther. Woo wee! So what do we have here? Okay, let's start over again. Fresh chart. We have a. The line is the bitch, nobody else. Oh, come on. There. Looks so much better when it's straight, huh? And see here? It's right here, see? So I have to tweak it a little bit. Like this, from this higher high to this lower, whatever. Okay. See that? So how do we fix that? You can extend it to here, going up like this. Yeah. But I just took the time to... <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Right from here, it, it comes. It comes, right? Yeah, this this one's wrong. It's not... It's, basic, it's basically a double top, let's say, but the divergence is from right here to here and here, okay? And we would have got short. Right on the opening of that candle. And how much did we go down and how much was our stop? Stop was about 60 points and it went down 214 points. <clears throat> now, how about down here? Was there divergence? <sighs> I'm just looking at something else right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there was. It's right here. It's a little tricky to find this one, but... Ah, you guys are probably going, this guy's crazy. He's like Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> He's a weirdo. He has to have it perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little strange. Just like Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> okay, so we would have got long. Got to get that arrow on there. Right there. So if you got in there, you had more risk. If you got in on a dip right here, we'll say we got in right here. And our stop was 74 points. Yeah, this is the, the Dow. It's going to be big. Went up 200. Yep. And how about up here? Um... 
don't think so, but. Well, it is and it isn't, okay. We'll say this is a double top. Oh, <laughs> see how it sticks there? It's got crazy glue on it. <laughs> you little bitch. You have to take it far enough away from the candle and it won't recognize it and want to stick to it. Okay. Those darn Russians who created this freaking platform. So we got a double top, right? Right, right. We do. And then we got this right here. So you would have got in, I'm showing you every trade, man, winners and losers. Right here, what I got in right here, our stop would have been about 80, 80, 80 points. And it went down 196. And here's some of my trade, here's a, here's a trade right here. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. Right here, see? Higher close right here, closest you can get to the five. Sell it, down it goes. Higher close, sell it, down it goes. Higher close, sell it, down it goes. Higher close, sell it, down it goes. And one more for the kipper. <laughs> Higher close, sell it, a little bit of drawdown, down it freaking goes. You got to love those trades, ladies and gentlemen. That's something I guarantee you, you have never seen anywhere else. Where people trade the candles and the way they close in a downtrend and the way they close in an uptrend. That's out of my mind. I don't think anybody else, well, there's got to be someone else, but they ain't saying anything. But for here, you're getting it all right here, right now. You got to love it. Let's look at the pound. Oh, look at that double top up there, and that double top on the bottom. Okay, hold on. What do we got over here? Nothing. So we got something here. Long right here, stop would have been like eight pips. Went up 11, you got your one to one right there. Then we had a, uh, a double bottom basically, like that. No, I'm not drawing it perfectly. I know this one's lower than this one. La di da, you can put it right here from the bodies of the candle. Same shit, right here, see? That's divergent. You would have bought it right here. Bought her here. Stop was 10. There's 12. There's 13. And how about this one? We can't forget about this one. Hidden divergence. What I call hard to see divergence. Okay, and we would have got long right there. So we got in there, stop was 11 pips, and it went up 22 pips. Now, one more trade, ladies and gentlemen. Is it perfect? No, but close enough. There she be, there she be, double top. Did it quite make it? No, but it wanted to. It really, really wanted to. But for those who say, oh, no, that's not a double top. For it to be a double top, it has to come back up here. No, it doesn't. I used to think that way. Not anymore. If it's close enough, it's good. And, and, and all that you need to confirm the signal is a nice candle closing down right at the low of the candle. The five crossing down below the seven, according to what I trade, that is, that is a valid setup to freaking sell. So you would have sold right here, and it went down 27 pips, and your stop was 15. You got your one-to-one. -one. What more do you want out of life or out of trading? 
look at the euro now. Oh, chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop. Fucking chop. Usually you see... <laughs> Usually you see triangles like this. Right? Look at this one. It's like backwards. You have descending and ascending triangles? I don't know. You have to do this. Maneuver this thing. You gotta take a course on it. <laughs> you gotta take a course on laying the line out anyway isn't that an ugly mess it is here's the here's the one trade i see oh Um, sorry, I lost focus there for a second. I'm sorry, right there. Okay, because I freaking gargled my throat three times <clears throat> with the salt water, I'm just hocking up a bunch of you know, boogie, bunch of boogie. Okay, look at here. That's just a perfect, nice little double bottom there, isn't it? It is. So we're going to look at that one. And does it line up from here? Oh, you betcha, Skippy. It does. I just love the Osma. It's so freaking awesome. It gives such good trades. Oh, look, the three amigos over here. <laughs> I just saw it now. I, I'm sure there's many trades I have missed, and you've, you're probably watching it on your chart, and you've seen it. And you go, look, look, he missed that one. <laughs> or this one. And some of them are wizard, losers, and some of them are winners. Okay, hold on here. We're almost done with this one. Hold on. <laughs> you would have got long there. Okay, we got long there. Right here. And your stop would have been... Six pips. <laughs> There's your six pips right there. <laughs> How much did it go up here? 24 pips. If you could hang on through this mumble jumble goddamn crap. All right. Three amigos. One, two, three. Gotta love those. Because for sure they went after the stops, right? People who are selling in here, right? They put their stop right here. Then people who are selling in here put their put their stop right here. And what did they do? They came after the stops. They came after the stops again. And then finally, but see, during this whole time, my five did not cross below the seven. So you can see how there's no trade, no trade, no trade. There's the trade is right here. See that? That's why I got those moving averages on there. One of the reasons. I'm telling you, man, this 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 divergence and my setups, they're they're like flawless. The only thing I don't really have <laughs> is is where price goes up hundreds or down hundreds. I just wish I knew that it was going there today. <laughs> and I could go after the big the big one. You know what I mean? And I don't know how to figure that out. Like, I, I put a, a line at the high and the low of the day, but, of the previous day, but it doesn't always tell me the stories. So, so I think ICT has the answer to that. So anyway, uh, let's get this arrow on here. According to my entry, it's right here on the opening of this candle. So we got short 8 pip stop. And it made the eight pips in the first uh, nine pips. And because the spread is zero almost all the time, you would hit it hit you would have hit it in the first ten minutes right there. And there's more. Look, here's the three amigos again. 
These are the northern amigos. These are the southern amigos. <laughs> okay, let me show you. Um, don't know what it's going to do. But yeah, this is it, right? What do you what do you see there? I don't know. I'm not a financial advisor. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to read that to you. I know you don't really like to hear me read that thing, but it's better if I read it to you because nobody can say jack shit to me saying some fucking financial advisor or shit and shit. Right here. Oh, it's on the other screen. All forms of trading carry a high level of risk, so you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. Because you can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. So please, ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved, involved and if necessary, seek independent advice. As I am not a licensed financial advisor. There you go, YouTube! Enjoy! <laughs> okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get back to this. Oh, oh, trade's going bad. Okay, let's move on now to the Euro Yen. Oh, look at that one. It's just... Oh, we're on the 15 minute here on the pound, pound Yen. Pound Yen. What am I talking about? Okay, let me show you. Where's oil? Oh, oil's right there. Okay. So we have a high and a higher high, right? Yep. And a lower high on the indicator of choice. And we would have sold it right there, either on the close of this candle or after or on the close of this one. Let's say we did it at the better price right up there. Stop would have been about 9 or 10 pips, pound yen. And it went down how much? 70. 72 pips. Oh, look, look, look. See right here, low and lower low. But look, this low is lower than this one. So that trade right here is, there's no trade because the price came down too far, too fast. And the indi indicator followed it. But it doesn't cancel out this trade right here. Double bottom. Okay. Right there, and right there, and you would have got an arrow to buy it right there. Stop was 18 pips, pound yen. Went up, oh, just to the skin of your teeth right there, 18 pips. If you held it, it went up 40, 2 to 1 win-loss ratio. Now, what do we have up here? The same thing where it went up too rapidly, and the indicator followed the price. We need a lower low, a lower uh, mountain peak than this side in order for this to be a sell up here. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can swindle this. Let's see. Let's see mode Z. So we have double top. Okay. Now, if we line it up to there. Oh, yeah, we can do it. We can manipulate it. We can cheat. We can do it. It's down like this. See that? Right there. And right there. It was a sell, man. It was a sell. It was a valid sell right there. Boom. Okay. So, would have got short right there. Stop would have been 23 pips. Went down 34. One to one win loss ratio on that one. Okay, now we have the euro yen. What the hell? Showing yesterday. <laughs> the euro yen is messy. Look, just like the euro. That's all right. We had other trades. Look, one, two, three amigos right there again. Okay, we had hard to see divergence right there. This is in the UK session where you would have sold it. 
Sell it right here. Stop here. 10 pips. Went down 30 pips. Same double bottom, remember, as the euro right there. Same deal. Double bottom. And this going up the right side of the Osma. The Osma Valley. And we would have got long right there. You would have got long right here. Your stop would have been right here, eight, nine pips. So you almost got it there. Would have got it here. There's your winner right there, chicken dinner. And this opposite weird triangle here. Okay. Then up here, actually, there's another one right here. Let me show you. Draw it like this, low and lower, low. It's easier. Like this. Would have got long right there. Went up 27 pips. This is the uh, this is the EJ with 11 pip stop. Then we had the three amigos. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's your. I seen this video last night of this guy on a skateboard. <laughs> He's insane. He he was going down this. I don't know where it. Is. It was probably in Mexico or I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't around here. <laughs> he went down this mountain. It took him ten minutes. He was doing like, he was doing like 80, 90 miles an hour, if not more, with a car following him. It was. It was wicked. <laughs> it was wicked. Oh my god, it was wicked. Cool to see. He had these um, gloves on with metal plates on the palms of the gloves. And and every time he had come too fast to a corner and a, a sharp decline down, he would put his hands and use the, the metal would grind on the pavement <laughs> and the sparks were flying and he would slow him down so he could take the corner at the right speed. Just full on professional, this guy doing this. This is just crazy. Uh, it's on YouTube. Anyway. So we would have got short right there. We got to put the little arrow on first. Down it went. 30 points. 30 pips on the EJ. Okay. Then we have oil. Oh, oil is crazy today. But we still had trades. High and higher high. We got short right there. Short stop would have been about 40 points or so. There's 90 points here, two to one. Whatever this freak of nature, this was fuck. Oh, look at there's divergence on the bottom of it. What a bitch. What a crazy bitch right here. Crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. So you would have got long right there after that. Oh, yeah. That was a big freaking stop, man, according to where I get in. I'm going to got in right there. Or, uh, hold on. How, stop was 100 points. <laughs> Holy shit. But how much did it go up? 232 points. Wow, it's crazy. Crazy trades. And our last instrument of the day is the gold. Gold, baby. Because my student wants me to do gold, so I do gold for him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, it's, it's crazy. It's just, it's not divergent friendly. It's not. Like, you really got to rack your head together. See right here, high and higher, high. There's no divergence there because the indicator followed it. See right here, it went up with it. It needs to do the opposite. But we do, no, 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 no. This one's lower. Oh, 
I'm not going to try and tweak that. There's no divergence there. You could have tried, I guess. Uh, how much did it fly down? 150 points, man. What about up here? The double high. Honestly, do you really want to take a trade after you really want to trade short right here after it dropped came back up 220 points. I don't know Probably was a winner though if you would have got short Right here on a pullback We got 42 point stop. Did we go down 42? I don't think so 39 missed it by three points all right, that's it. That's all. Okay, I want to thank for watch, watching and uh, listening. I really appreciate all of you coming down to see my divergent setups. Um, if you could be so kind to, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the like button. I've gotten some more new subs lately. If you're listening, I want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for listening and if you could give me a like oh i'd like that okay if you're gonna keep trading this afternoon be careful good luck and good trading